I'm going to prove that if m and n are perfect squares, then m times n is a perfect square. By definition, a perfect square is an integer, and that is the square of another integer. So in this case, we are looking at these integers, and we are saying they are perfect squares. So we can write m as a squared, and n as b squared, where a and b are integers. And then go on and multiply m and n. So def m times n is equal to the product of these values here. So it will be a squared times b squared. And then we can just rewrite this expression and uh, it will be a times b squared. But if you look at this part a times b, we are multiplying two integers. When you multiply two integers, we get another integer. So we can call that integer c. So we are saying c is equals to the product of a and b. So what we are having there is m times n is equals to c squared. So what we are having here is we are having an integer and that is the square of another integer. We are having m times n is the square of c. So we conclude that by definition there, m times n is a perfect square.